One of the most common questions that I get is, how should I go about the editing process on my book? One is, how do you find editors? And I've talked, discussed this in the past using Fiverr and Upwork in order to find editors that can go through your book and ensure that it's of highest quality possible. But what if you're on a budget? And what if you really want work that a job of editing that's maybe even better than some of the editors even do? That's one of the reasons I recommend using Grammarly. And that's what we're going to discuss in today's video. This is Chris Baird from SelfPublishingMadeEasyNow.com, where self-publishing doesn't have to be so hard. So I can tell you for 100% of every book that I've ever written and ever dealt with the editing process, I always run it through Grammarly in the same as I suggest to all of my clients as well to use this tool. The first thing to remember about Grammarly is it's absolutely free and works on nearly every single system you're possibly going to want to use. So let's take a close look at exactly what you're going to get out of Grammarly. And particularly, what about when you're going to do it for your book? Now, there are some downsides that we're going to discuss in today's video. So the first thing to keep in mind is, as I mentioned before, is that Grammarly is completely free. You do not have to pay absolutely any anything to use this amazing tool and it is getting stronger by the day. Okay, so a couple of things you can do is you integrate it into Google Chrome. Now remember, it will connect with a whole series of things. You can have Grammarly on your desktop. You can have Grammarly in Windows or Mac, Your brow a browser extension for Chrome, Safari, F Firefox, Edge, MS Office, Google Docs, Mobile, iPhone, iPad, Android, all of these things, there are so many different platforms. Those are all of the different platforms that you're able to get it up and running on. Now, once you've installed it, what you're going to find is it's going to start doing a markup of the text that you're writing in your email or wherever else you may be doing it. And you'll notice that when you do it, you'll type your certain text in there, let's say as you're writing your email, and it's going to underline in red to say these are definitely misspelled words that you're going to need to do or the grammar is off for these sections. This feature alone is insanely good. In addition, it will give you the ability to find style issues and come with suggestions so you can simply with a single click of a button ensure that your particular document that you're working on, the book that you have, or these things, or even emails that you're going to be doing in your business and your social media posts, that they follow strict grammar guidelines and things that make it very readable. And Grammarly will also tell you at what level it comes out. Is it sounding really professional or is it sounding more casual? So the style as well. Another thing to remember with Grammarly is that they are now starting to implement AI into their overall plan so that it's able to do a whole bunch bunch of really powerful stuff. So a couple of the first things to keep in mind, and this, this involves the use of AI, gives you the ability to rewrite text, where you come up with your initial prompt or text, it will come up with some text for you, or it'll rewrite the text to be even at whatever level you're trying to reach, like a lower grade level, or maybe a more advanced uh, type of of level. And these are the sorts of things that you can expect with the AI integration that you have within it. And that's what they would call their communication assistance as they're going through it. It has more than 500,000 websites that it's pulling into the app and is prop working with all these different popular browsers. And like I mentioned, with your phone and these other things, it will generate even the AI writing assistance for you at your fingertips. So you type in a small things, for example, as they give in the example here, invite to rooftop barbecue to celebrate quarter two success. And it immediately writes in, I want to extend a special invitation to you for your upcoming rooftop barbecue. We have had a fantastic quarter two and we want to celebrate it with you. Do you see how it can save you all of this time by using some of the prompts that they have in order to cut down the total wasted time of going back and forth. And you can even say, I want you to rewrite this or simplify it or make it more casual. You can say things like throw in emoji cons or whatever else you might want to throw in there to make it even better. You even can choose what your primary language is to make sure that it's not choosing British English. If you want American English or Australian English or Canadian English, for example, it's able to figure all of these things out. But it does even more than that. It gives you a lot the opportunity. It finds things that aren't even grammatical mistakes and will give you ways to improve the speech so that it flows a lot better. This is especially powerful when it comes to your books where you have a temptation when you're writing in your book to write text that may be very formal or reusing the same words. It's able to look at these things. It even gives you a notification and it will give you a green light to show that it's, that there's a, it's fine or a red light to say this is a mistake that you've made or a yellow light in order to show you that this is something you could improve upon if you wish. 
In addition, it not only gives suggestions, it will tell you the reason for the suggestions themselves. Like this is a grammatical ex mistake, or you have two words at the same that are used more than once in the same sentence, or it flows not correctly here, or you've misplaced your comma. So you're learning and improving your grammar as you go along when you use the tool. So it's actually training you to be a lot more clever on this. In addition, you can do tone suggestion. Like, does this sound confident, or does it sound, and it will rephrase the entire sentence structure if you'd like and that's one of the powerful aspects of the AI you can say just rephrase this thing without you having to type all of this in that was one of the things with human editors I didn't like as much was that they wouldn't just make the changes or make it easy for me to make the changes they would instead write something and then you would have to figure out what they were talking about which makes a problem for most readers and one of the questions a lot of people ask of Grammarly is how does it know what good writing is and the answer is it's been trained up with a ton of writing experience and that's that's one of the things with the AI. It pulls it in there and is able to exactly show you what you need to do with your writing to definitely improve it across the entire process. Okay, And it has algorithms that are continuing to improve on all of this. And so over time, you can expect it to get better and better. In addition, it has high level security to ensure that the data and the information you put in there isn't going to be shared with anyone else to ensure that it's the top level security and that you're safe in putting your book into this particular tool, which is a very, very powerful one. So we've hit upon a little bit of the overview. We've gone through the generative AI, and that's something they haven't completely pulled in, but they're in the process of getting it going. We're looking at the writing enhance enhancements as well as the trust and security that you have. And so one of the important things to remember is that when you're getting started with all of this, it is a number of things, right? You're going to have the editor and the text editor, it comes in to all of these different browsers that make it super, super simple for you to use the tool. And it works across all of the different tools that you already have. Okay. But how exactly do they make money? Well, the answer is they do have a number of plans that they have that make it very easy to use. First thing, first and foremost is their free plan. I would suggest not buying any of their plans until you've just checked out the absolute free plan. It gives you basic writing suggestions and tone detection. Now it won't go anything beyond that, but it will actually still do the underlining and things like that to tell you what you could do to improve even beyond this specific one. And then if you go for individuals, which uh, you have the premium plan. It has everything in the free plan plus the full sentence rewrites. Keep in mind this one alone can be really powerful because you read a sentence in your book and it's just not flowing. You hit rewrite, it automatically will take that sentence and redo it as well as vocabulary ideas. That is, we want to have a variety of vocabulary words that you may not personally use all the time, but it would really make your particular book sound a lot better to have a lot of variety of what's going on in the words and it gives you those suggestions as well as tone suggestions. Is your book coming off as too serious or maybe your technical writing is too casual and it has the ability to do that. And then you have the business level which takes everything we've previously had as well as centralized billing and style guides that come along with it. You've got to keep in mind with the free one you're getting the grammar and the spelling but if you upgrade to the, pre the premium you're going to get consistency in spelling and punctuation as well as English fluency just to give you an idea of what you're doing. Now on the clarity front you have uh, you have conciseness that is hit on the free version but if you want to be able to get full sentence rewrites and the formatting side of things you're going to need to upgrade to the premium version on engagement unfortunately nothing is included on the free side but on the premium you do have word choice word and sentence variety and this is an important one because often you will find that you reuse the same words over and over by so by activating this word and sentence variety in the premium version you're going to be able to quickly see and correct these things to make sure you have a lot of variety in what you're doing. Then we move on to the delivery. The only one here that the free will give you is the tone detection, as opposed to the premium, which gives you not only the detection, but the suggestions to make sure you sound confident or sound friendly or diplomatic, constructive, sincere, formal. As, uh, and so all of these things are important based upon the audience that you're writing your particular book or email to. And it's able to take control of all of these areas to ensure that everything is perfectly flowing, nice and easy. Then you're going to have inclusive language. 
it's able to look at some of that, those aspects to make sure that somebody's not going to feel left out when you're writing based upon the different audiences that you may have. Now, when it comes to citations, you'll have auto citations on the free version, but if you want the citation style formatting covering the main ways of citing things in your book, you're going to need to get the premium. And another huge one is the plagiarism detection. When you're writing your book, you need to make sure it's not going to be triggering a lot of plagiarism. And this is a great way to do it, which is included in the premium. Now, security is, of course, covered across the board inside of both the free and the premium, which is fantastic. That's the reason why I tell you, check this software out for your free books. It's just fine, which is really, really powerful. Now, for the premium version, it's at a starting price of 12 euros or dollars. About It translates about the same per month, which is something you're definitely going to want to check out. And many big companies like Zoom, Databricks, Caterpillar, a lot of these Everlane, they already use this specific software. They're using Grammarly inside of their businesses. And that's another reason you're definitely going to want to consider it for your, your yourself. Does that make sense? And that's, you can find my, my affiliate link at the top of the description section in this particular uh, for this particular video or audio or wherever else you're finding it right now. So a couple of things that we're going to be focusing on here then, you have the, the writing side of things where you can write inside of it on their website itself. It allows you on that app to actually do the writing straight into it. You can do, punct it'll check the punctuation as you go and check the grammar as you go, as well as using it for your blog is a really powerful place to put it. You have the grammar check it, checking grammar, spelling, and punctuation mistakes. You have your plagiarism check uh, checker to make sure you check your work for plagiarism to see if somebody else did some of the writing, you do not want to get in trouble for this on Amazon. Then you have your citation generator. It'll format the citations in APA, MLA, and Chicago formats. And I know when I was going through school, MLA was one of the big ones. And it just makes sure that everything is correct. And then you have your essay checker to review your papers for a better grade. And I'm going to tell you, you are going to get a better grade. You can even have it rewrite sentences and all sorts of stuff in order to ensure that Grammarly is going to do the job that you need it to do to you. And <clears throat> so in conclusion, as you can see, Grammarly is an incredibly powerful tool. You should not even think about writing a book or publishing a book without having run all of it through Grammarly first using the free version, just check it out and do the upgrade if you really if you see that some of these features, whether it's the plagiarism check or a lot of these others, and that's the reason why a lot of my clients actually have done the upgrade to make sure they're getting the full benefit out of Grammarly, because it'll even show you in the free version the things that you could be getting and all of the services you're leaving behind. And unlike some other software that I've used similar to this, it doesn't have an expectation that you have to figure everything out. It'll automatically rewrite and change the text in your official document without you doing any other additional work. And so you'll find my affiliate link again at the top of the description here. Click on it, check out this thing, download the free version, see if this thing is right for you, just create the account, and let me know in the comments if this works for you, and I'll see you above me here in my next video. Thanks.